How is it? Oh, thank you. You could put the eggs on top of the toast. Get away. It's my food. Yeah, exactly. See? That's what I'm saying. He was waiting. This is something they do with sushi here in Vancouver at a few different restaurants. But they make these rectangle shaped ones. I never seen it in Japan. He's like, hey, hurry up. You gotta pick it up. There, Hugo's teaching you. Oh, that's cute. Bella, you need help? Okay. JB, it's kind of cute how Hugo's teaching Bella, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Bella. <laughs> okay, throw it. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, throw. <laughs> Strong's Market here in North Vancouver. Getting some things for breakfast. These tomatoes look awesome. Oh, baby. I don't see chives. Where are the chives at? Tarragon. Huh? Go fancy with these eggs. The chives are right there. The best ones are in the back. And some broccolini. Butter. I'm into some fancy stuff. That's some fancy water. Wow. It's like a cool package for eggs. 51 bucks. Good morning. Good morning. Came to Vancouver to visit family. 8.30 now. Checkout's pretty early, it's at 10. So I'm getting breakfast early and we got broccolini that we're supposed to have for dinner, but we never ended up cooking it. So Mommy. for breakfast it is. Mommy. Yes, baby. Um. a decent day yesterday it sprinkled a little bit but we were able to get out no the other way baby the sharp side the sharp okay she's just excited to have her own silverware don't help me mommy okay you're gonna cut it by yourself Got you it. Take, i am a butter now yeah but please a lot and you don't put your knife like this Okay, because you might accidentally hurt somebody. You might cut somebody. You might even cut your face. You take your fork to hold it still. It will cut. It. Yeah, this knife is... Oh, is this even real? There's like no ridges. There you go. Cut where the fork is. There you go. Look at you. Cutting your own food. And then... The next step is to eat it. Yeah. Oh, blueberries too? You don't need to cut blueberries. No, she's just showing off. How is it? Oh, thank you. You could put the eggs on top of the toast. 
But why do I feel so much comfort seeing a Keurig? <laughs> Am I still a Keurig girly at heart? Hey, look how cool these pods are. I forgot that they started doing this because I haven't had a Keurig in forever. Almost a big girl, just like you. Mommy, what? I think five. You're turning no. four. Oh, I think four. Yay! And then we have Lego. Yes, you are. Baby. I think I will fall. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hi, all. After that, we're gonna pick up something special to bring that into eat. So Hi, ma'am. Is it okay if I put my baby next to you? This way. There you go. Okay. <laughs> mommy, mommy, yeah. when I was a baby, I put it in her. Yeah. When I was a baby. Yeah, if you were the baby, you would sit in there. See. <laughs> oh, bless you. Mmm, a cup of joe. Good old classic drip. Two time to go. We did it. I think we were able to get everything packed. There were no kids crying. No. Uh, whose backpack is this? Okay. No, this is it. I couldn't get it. And we're out of here. My Airbnb. It's been fun and great. Where's that light coming from? Okay. Mom's Let me just turn off this light. So cool. What is this light? So All right. Lego. We're gonna go get Timbits because Timbits. when you're in Canada, it's like the national donut of Canada. So Benji insists on going to this like fancier donut restaurant or bakery. And so he's gonna go there, but I'm just gonna get a small thing of Timbits because it's just, it's just the right thing to do, you know? They got some goodies, they got a coffee. These girls got the donuts. We're in a little town called Cove? Deep Cove, Deep Cove. It's about, yeah, I'm going to. It's about 30 minutes north. It's about 30 minutes north of downtown Vancouver. And look at this view. Oh yeah, this pristine here. And look at this little town. Not only is the town cute, but up there on the hills, there's all these beautiful homes. I know. Okay, let's go. Having lunch at Panera because I don't want to cook at home. <laughs> Thankfully, oh yes. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you. The wait at the border was only 30 minutes. I'm just so grateful. Because last time we waited over two hours. But smooth sailing all the rest of the way home. So we just have about 10 minutes till we get home. I'm looking forward to it. By the way, these are the donuts that Benji got. And apparently... They're one of the best in North Van. It's not quite like an old fashioned. It's like between a cake and a donut. Like it'd be perfect with coffee. Time to settle in back home and get the kids situated before school starts tomorrow.
Yeah, it was also a great spring break. Even though it didn't seem like we did a lot, I think I think we kind of did. The kids got to hang out with their friends. We went shopping, went to the movies, and I guess the only travel we did was to Vancouver. Um, so I guess it was quite eventful. Okay, time to get this little one ready for nap. Benji, JB, and Leah are on their way home. Oh no! We're out of milk. We're having hodgepodge dinner. <laughs> it's just random stuff. Use up the rest of the bread that we got from Costco Vancouver or it's Costco Canada. JB is doing a breakfast, breakfast for dinner. I'm gonna have um, one of the show pal. This is the bola bola. I don't know if that's the real name of it, but mom always called it bola bola. It's like a pork meatball with an egg inside. I'm what gonna have a bunch of yes, a bunch dropped off some. Hot dog bread. Bola, bola. Uh huh. It was called um, chicken deluxe. Oh, chicken deluxe. Of course, they have to make it as Americanized as possible. Yeah, and also um, the show pals were called steam buns. <laughs> okay. No, it says. Oh yeah, before it used to say asado. Now it just says pork. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe because a lot of horse from there. Probably. Of course, the one time I accidentally spilled a decanter, it spills onto Mia's teacher's. Yeah. Okay, I mean it's barely hold on. Oh Boogie Boo is here coming <laughs> Her little helmet, I can't. Hi, Hi Boo! Oh my gosh! Can you walk baby? Yeah. Oh, how's that team milk? Did you drop off the donuts? Yeah. Guess what? Uh -huh. Uh, take off your shoes, baby. You know what type of cat daddy wants? What? He wants a black cat named Gigi that looks like that his, his face got like smushed. Oh. Smush. Hey, let me open the garage, Leah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of those cats. They're kind of, they're cute, ugly. Yeah. Barely touched it. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. I'm gonna make some fried rice for the littles. This is the leftover rice that we have. Baby, I'm not doing. You could do pasta tomorrow, but today we're doing fried rice. Uncured pancetta. I'm sure he's gonna use this for some pizza later, but this could be so good in fried rice. I could already hear Benji telling me to do this on a walk. <laughs> it's seasoned better for this. I know Benji would like the crispy parts in the bottom, but the kids are not too fond of that. I wonder where the girls are. I'm gonna go check on the bed to see if I can find. Hey! I found Bella! Bella! Where is. Stinky Bubba girls, it's time for shower. At my cousin's place, Bella was playing with this Easter basket. It has a little confetti strings, and of course, every kid just thinks that's so exciting to play with. So Bella hands it to me. I caught it as it was about to fall, and I got myself a nice old splinter. I can't even remember the last time I got a splinter. Kate was so sweet, she was trying to remove it. She even got two different types of tweezers. After trying for 15 minutes, it I, I couldn't even see it. But now you could clearly see it. I mean, not that it hurts. It actually isn't painful anymore, but do splinters come out on their own? Or is it just embedded forever? Because now I'm paranoid. So I don't even know how to remove splinters. I think Benji does because he helped remove the kids a while ago. He's of course cooking right now, so I don't want to bother him. How to remove a splinter. Splinters come in all shapes and sizes. Use a magnifying glass to see how big the splinter is and which direction it entered the skin. If part of the splinter is sticking out, Use tweezers to gently pull out the splinter. Hmm. Never squeeze out a splinter, oh. as this may cause it to break into smaller pieces that are harder to remove. If the entire splinter is embedded under the skin, use a small needle to remove it. Oh, Stabilize I am not comfortable with that. Using rubbing alcohol. 
Oh my gosh, I am not ready for that needle. Oh, hell to the naw. You know what? This splinter is going to live here forever. It ain't even there. Forget it. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. All right, guys, so I'm going to end my night here. No, you don't leave a splinter in there. It'll get, um, what do you call it? It'll infected? get infected. Does it look infected? No, oh, maybe. It, it looks like it's starting to pop up. Oh, no. Funny. All right, well, kind of scared, but, um, it'll be fine. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Night, night. Bye-bye. Where am I to eat?